It's a day like any other at Pity Pie's base, but just above the Giga Furnace, a new architect has shown up. With intentions of changing everything, causing many farms to be damaged, nobody knew what he was doing, or if he was okay in the head. He scared the villagers, put in an automatic sorting system, and some people say he even tried to kidnap <laughs> without success. Pronounce the name, sorry. Uh, transition, please. Hello, everyone, welcome to this new video. Today, I'm going to improve Billy Pie's hardcore base from this to this. It's blurred so you don't get spoiled. Huge thanks to ATF Gamer who made the recreation of the map, it's not up to date but it looks very similar so thank you very much, it's going to be linked in the description anyway. Also this video is inspired by Trixie Blocks, who did the same but with Baby Pie's old Minecraft series. So now that I've said all of that, enjoy the video. So he started up by moving PewDiePie's original base to a safe place to keep the model and start cleaning the land to prefer the terraforming. After that I tried to remove water from the glass meatball to move it later, but I failed, so I installed a new plugin which lets me stop water from flowing back, and then I remove all the water in the entire zone I want to terraform and turn everything into stone. However, I ran into a problem. You see this? Normally when using a replace command, you're supposed to use a farm and a two block setup. However, I forgot to add stone as two block. And when there's no two block, or that it replaces all blocks in the selections with the farm blocks. Uh, I mean, no big deal, I can undo that anyway. Oh, wait. Ah. So turns out, I crashed my server. Yay. guess I'll do another attempt. This time I decided to be a bit more prudent. I installed 4Wii which lets me undo after server resets, saved a backup of the world each morning and recorded with an alt account to avoid chunks loading on your play. So I started just like the first attempt by moving the base away, draining the ocean and then setting everything to stone. I then started terraforming. Nothing really crazy, I just completed the hill where the base used to be and smoothed out the nearby highlands and on the waterland by filling in the caves. The main change about the terrain is going to be the painting, which will create a new custom biome. So for the painting, I make layers so I can make a difference between what's under the water, what's outside the custom biome, and what's in the land of the custom biome. I do that by using one unique block for each layer. Then comes the actual painting. I just have to select the blocks I want to choose and replace all the layers with them. So for what's under the water, I choose red nether blocks, and for what's outside of the water, I choose dark oak plants and then adding in some shades of lighter brown in some places. The result is a biome which is highly inspired by the nether but brings a new personal perspective. I finish my terrain by filling back in the water. After all of that it's time to start building. I place the temple on the top of the mountain instead of at the sides. I use speedy pie scene blocks for the basements of the temple developing more the shape and then the towers, a back door and more detailed stairs on the front. As you can see I'm making the temple symmetrical so I can only do the half and then paste it to the other side. I then add more details to the foundations, trying multiple patterns until I find the right one and end up repeating it everywhere. I also add some lights to the towers and work more on the back door. After that I added the first beacons on the top and started recreating the shape of the top part of the temple so it's as close as PD Pie is possible. But still more happy cause uh, I'm a good architect. What do you mean plagiarism? I, uh, I, I really don't know what that means. That's awkward. 
anyway, I rise up the second floor and add glass to the corridors where the chests are going to be and detail more the walls by adding depth. I then had the last beacons and fill in the corridors with chests. Then I decided to add flags to the other towers, but I wasn't sure which one to go for. Oh no, that's a bad idea. Let's go for Sweden instead. Sorry, Felix, I'm fresh, by the way. Uh, don't kill me, please. And finally, I raised the last part of the temple, where the bed is. I add details to the walls using glowstone as fake windows. And after that, I added more decorations to the edges of the balcony or however you want to call it. Then I build the last part, the peak of the temple, and decorate it with a Japanese roof. And last of all, I add the villager reproduction farm as well as the nether portal inside the pyramid which can be accessed by the back door. Also on the corners under the pyramid there's Jorgen, donkeys, monkeys and the cow's place. I can't show you me building it because it's too dark but it looks like this. And for the vegans wondering how did I get Jorgen to be exactly white, I, uh, I summoned him with a command, uh, of course, yeah. Uh, how else would I do it? I then started to work on some farms to decorate the highland, which is pretty much empty at the moment. I start with a netherworld farm using lava as irrigation. I also built bridges of the lava and placed netherworld but forgot to record. I then built a bridge that connects the farms and the recently made roads with the temple. and connect every part of the highlands with the streets. After doing that, I made some tree models and pasted them around to create a forest. After that, I started working on a new farm nobody has seen before. Basically, PewDiePie said Netherite Farm instead of Netherworld Farm multiple times. There, up there is my Netherite Farm. My Netherite Farm. So I made an actual Netherite Farm. You're welcome, Felix. It isn't automatic, by the way. You gotta do that. I then work on another farm with tall plants very close to each other that look like cob plants, but outside of the water. And finally, I complete the farm saga with a mushroom farm in front of the main entrance of the temple. It's time to upgrade the glass meat bowl! I totally changed the glass color, added lava into it, and of course kept the bills and <laughs> I still can't pronounce the name, sorry. And I then moved it back to into the sea and added a bridge connected to the land. Finally, I added more spikes to the less empty places and the smaller islands. I know there is a command to do them much more efficiently than shown in the video, but am I really going to lose 20 seconds looking it up online to gain time? No, I'm going to spend one more hour doing them not efficiently, because that's what architects do.
it's time for the very last thing. The whole project can't be considered done without Pity Pie riding White Jorgen's statue. Well, it's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is probably my hardest video ever. It took me a lot of time to make, so if you did like it, then consider subscribing and sharing the video around. Also, I might work on similar videos in the future, so feel free to leave any suggestions in the comments. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.